sign option at Yellowstone's Black Diamond Pool since 2024 explosion. It's been nearly a year since a hydrothermal vent erupted at Yellowstone National Park last July in a closed area known as Biscuit Basin and Black Diamond Pool with the latest reports of eruptive activity. According to the National Park Service, last year's explosion was particularly powerful, shooting steam and debris hundreds of feet into the air, destroying nearby pavement, and sending grapefruit-sized rocks tens to hundreds of feet high. In May, scientists set up a webcam at Biscuit Basin to monitor activity at Black Diamond Pool, where a hydrothermal vent occurred the previous summer. The scientists captured the first eruption from Black Diamond Pool on video since the hydrothermal vent on July 23, 2024, USGS Volcanoes posted on social media. Analysis of static images indicates a change in the pool on the evening of May 31, which captured a small eruption from the pool, the post reads in part. While scientists monitor the area where the explosion occurred last summer, the National Park Service says, last year's explosion was caused by water suddenly turning to steam in a shallow hydrothermal system beneath Black Diamond Pool, and was not caused by volcanic activity. Seismicity, ground deformation and gas and thermal emissions remained at normal background levels, and no early signs of this event were detected. With the possibilities in the hydrothermal plumbing system, USGS and NPS geologists continue to monitor conditions, map debris, and take water samples to assess any changes. Hydrothermal explosions typically occur in national parks one to several times per year, but they often occur in remote areas that may not be readily detected. Similar, though smaller, hydrothermal explosions occurred in 1989 at Porkchop Geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin and on April 15, 2024, at the Porcelain Terrace area in the Norris Geyser Basin. A small hydrothermal vent erupted from Walpool in Biscuit Basin in 2009. A significant hydrothermal vent likely similar in size to the July 23, 2024 event. A popular tourist attraction in Yellowstone National Park will remain closed to summer visitors as scientists monitor a rogue hot pool that could erupt again after a major eruption last July. Biscuit Basin, a popular tourist attraction that is usually packed with visitors, has been closed to the public since a major eruption in July 2024 and will remain closed through the summer. Biscuit Basin, located north of Old Faithful, around 10 a.m. last summer, sending a huge plume of boiling water and debris into the sky, hundreds of feet into the air. The massive blast destroyed wooden walkways and sent tourists running for safety. Miraculously, no one was hurt, but scientists are calling it one of the most powerful hydrothermal vents ever recorded in the area's history. Now, given the basin's unpredictable history, scientists aren't sure when or if it will happen again. Biscuit Basin has been closed to the public while Yellowstone National Park assesses the damage and potential for future hazardous events. We're fortunate that no one was hurt during this obviously spectacular event, Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told Cowboy State Daily. We don't have enough information to know how the Black Diamond Basin will behave in the future. The problem is that we don't have really good observations or documentation of these events, which is why we put up these webcams. The power behind these explosions comes from a deadly combination of superheated water and limited underground plumbing which creates a pressure cooker effect beneath the Earth's surface.
geyser basin which has Old Faithful. Now notice the upper geyser basin is the southernmost one, so these are named after